Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today I do have my favorites and flops for the month of May. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to see the products that I really enjoyed, used a lot, uh, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. I don't feel like I have as much as usual, and I think part of that is with Sean being in the hospital and stuff like that. I, yeah, and then I was like shopping for my stash. I do have stuff that I shopped for my stash with, but I don't have a ton of stuff, so hope that's okay. Uh, very first thing I'm going to start with is hair, and I did want to talk about the, um, <sighs> we da, we da, this one. I pronounced it the right way the first time, and I know I can't do it this time, but anyway, this is the Clean Sweet Moisturizing Dry Shampoo. It's shampoo and conditioner mixed in one. It's meant for curly hair. This stuff is great. It does a really good job of cleansing, not as well as some dry shampoos that I've used, uh, but it doesn't like make your hair feel stripped or powdery or gummy. It is literally clear, like there's no kind of residue or anything like that, which is great. So it does help to absorb oil and stuff, but then it also does moisturize. So this stuff is really, really good. Is it we dad? We're going to say it's that. It's not, that's not how it's pronounced, but anyway, really, really good. I do like this a lot. Um, and I would recommend it. So I like this. I'm going to continue to use it. It's was given to me. So it's, Probably, it feels like it's about halfway full, so, but I enjoy it a lot, so I do like it, recommend it, all that jazz. Um, let's see here, like I said, not a ton. Let's just get into uh, fragrance. Uh, I did my favorite fragrances of 2024 so far, and those ones that I chose, still love, recommend, all that kind of stuff, but one fragrance really just blew me out of the water uh, this month. And it's the Body Fantasy Sunflower Breeze. Yes, this is a new bottle because when I went to the store at my Big Deal outlet, they had one. And so I picked it up and it was like a dollar. So picked this up. It is my backup. But this stuff smells so good. Oh, it's just, it's a lovely fragrance. So if you can find this on Amazon, your store, or whatever, I would definitely recommend picking up the Body Fantasy Sunflower Breeze. So, so good. I love it. It's probably up there in my top five fragrances. Like... For real, it's so good. Didn't see this in a video this month, but this, it was a longtime favorite and I finally repurchased because deodorant just wasn't cutting it anymore as we're getting hotter and stuff. But this is the Arid Extra Extra Dry. This is a really good antiperspirant if you are someone that does sweat a lot um, and you don't have the money for clinical strength because cl clinical strength antiperspirants are extremely expensive. This is... I've tried clinical strength before and I would say this is almost up to clinical strength, but it smells really good. They have a whole bunch of different scents. It just, it smells so good. This is the ultra fresh and this was actually pretty affordable on Amazon. So it's a really good, um, pretty strong antiperspirant. If you are a heavy, heavy sweater, like I am, I'm a very heavy sweater during the spring and summer. Let's just work. It's summer. Let's, let's just get on with it. But yeah, really, really good antiperspirant. If you're looking one, for one that uh, is affordable, that is almost as good as clinical, definitely recommend the Arid Extra Extra Dry. Really, really good stuff. I like it. Recommend it. Skincare. Let's go ahead and the Copper Tone Every Tone. This is the clear, like it, it rubs in clear. It's good for any skin tone. SPF 50. This stuff did make my eyes burn a little, but it's, it's still a really good sunscreen. I did find one better that I like for my face, and you already know which one that is, but this is really, really good. No white residue. Um, it does look very dewy on the skin. So if you are someone that does have dry skin, normal dry skin, whatever, and you like that really dewy, greasy look, I would definitely recommend this for face. I will use this for my body, but it's good. I like it, and it does blend in clear. So I... I would like to see someone that does have a darker skin tone. I need to like try to find and see if I can find a video because I really want to see if it will literally go on clear for every skin tone. So I would love to find someone that has a deeper skin tone and see them use this, but it is a good sunscreen SPF 50. So I do like it. The Australian gold. Somebody asked me, Oh, they can't find it. Uh, I got mine on Amazon. Um, but this is the Australian gold botanical tinted face BB cream for medium to tan skin. I did get this shade because I am getting sun on my body because am I always using sunscreen? No. Should you be? 
yes, but I don't. So I do want something that will match the rest of my like chest and neck and stuff. So but this stuff is really, really good. Um, I did a whole day wear test. Um, it is good. It does look pretty greasy on me at the end of the night, but it's nowhere as dewy as this. This is supposed to be like matte. Yeah, so lightweight matte finish hypoallergenic. So yeah, broad spectrum SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen and I believe this is as well. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think it is. Anyway, but I really like this stuff. Uh, this stuff is amazing. If you're looking for something for your face, um, they have three different colors, um, so, but where it is so sheer, it is going to cover a broad spectrum of different skin tone shades. So they have like the light, the medium to tan, and then they have like a dark or deep, but really, really good stuff. I do like this a ton and it's three fluid ounces. So that way you're getting a good value still, uh, because you do have to use more of this because it is, is SPF. You're supposed to use two finger fulls, like put a stripe here and a stripe here of sunscreen for your face and neck. And that's enough sunscreen so that is a lot of product compared to foundation right but really really good I like this stuff so probably the best thing I've discovered uh, this year so far honestly besides the body spray so I like this stuff a lot um, if you watched my cute little squishmallow video uh, yeah I absolutely loved these these are the kiss so whips wispy full bouncy volume and curl it was five different uh, pairs of their wispy lashes, and I used the pair Starry Nights, and yeah, but all these are beautiful. They were easy to apply, did come with glue. Um, I know you can purchase these on Amazon, or not, well, probably Amazon on Ulta, sorry. But I do like Kiss lashes. I mean, they're just so pretty. I need to start getting into wearing lashes more, so. But really, really nice lashes, and I enjoyed them a ton. So, um, also from that video was the ABH Norvina palette. I couldn't find this, um, when I was tagging stuff for that, um, Squishmallow video. I couldn't find this. Hoping they still make it because it is a really, really beautiful, beautiful palette. It is gorgeous. It is a pigment palette, so if you're not comfortable with pigments, they're harder to blend. You know, practice a little bit, but it is, sorry, you just saw my camera. Oh no. But yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, it is really pretty. It's extremely pigmented. I think it was a lot more successful with that look, probably because I didn't have to blend a ton or at all, you know, but it's a nice palette and I need to use it more. I do have some Dollar Tree items and they're both blushes. So I have the Clean Beauty Lip Color and Cream Blush Duo. Um, so I have two different shades here. I threw away the packaging so I don't know the colors. But one's like a nice pretty rose and this, yeah, these are beautiful. Um, they are not overly pigmented, so they're going to be easy to use, easy to blend out. Um, great for people that want maybe just a little bit more of a sheer kiss of color. You can definitely build them though. Um, but these are really, really beautiful blushes. And like I said, you can use that on your lips as well, but really, really beautiful um, pure color, a little bit of moisture, but it doesn't leave your skin tacky or anything like that. And I've been really getting into cream blushes ever since I tried the, um, colored rain blushes. So I bit the bullet and I also picked up some liquid blushes and oh boy, these are pigmented. Okay. So you saw the cream blushes, right? So these are from Ioni and, um, I'm just going to take some off right here. Okay. So so I used not very much, but this stuff is super duper pigmented, okay? You need the smallest amount. Don't go in with a full dot. I went in with like two or three dots. They were small dots, but I still went in with two or three dots. But they are extremely pigmented compared to the cream blushes, the Ioni liquid blushes. Beautiful, long lasting, easy to blend out. I'm just gonna pick some up off the little thing here. But, so, they're absolutely beautiful, uh, but they're very, very pigmented. So I've never tried the e.l.f. ones, but these would remind me of like probably what the e.l.f. are or the Rare Beauty ones that the e.l.f. are duping, but these are great. So if you are someone that you do like liquid blushes, you like a pigmented blush, 
you've used those other blushes or maybe you want to try something that's similar, I would definitely recommend the Ioni uh, liquid blushes. They're really cute packaging. You need the smallest amount, like humanly possible, but they're absolutely beautiful. That orange one, so pretty. It's perfect for summer. So what's nice about these two, I think where they are so pigmented that if you do have a deeper skin tone, these are still going to show up on you and they're going to be beautiful. Um, if you have very light skin tone, just be very careful. Just do like, eh, just the smallest amount. I think you'll be good. So yes. Um, last two products were from my prettiest makeup in my collection and they're both highlighters. Uh, the Deer Sculpture Highlighter. I'm going to use this someday. You'll probably be seeing this in a video in June. My birthday's coming up. I'm not buying anything for myself. I'm not getting anything. So I'm probably honestly going to be doing a full face of makeup of stuff that I want to use. And this is one that I want to use. I barely swatched it because I don't want to mess it up. But it looks beautiful. And I just, I love the packaging, love the compact. And it's just such a pretty highlighter. So... I don't want to have things in my collection that I don't use, so I'm definitely going to be using this, but it's just, it's beautiful. I am going to be saving the packaging. I'm just going to be real honest. I mean, how could you not? It's beautiful. So anyway, but I'm going to be using this, so you'll definitely be seeing a video um, of me using this for the very first time on my face with a brush. A little scared about that, but it's just so pretty and I want to use it, so I'm going to. Don't wait to try things, right? And then the... Um, the flower one can't pronounce the brand anyway once again really really beautiful too um grabbed a whole bunch of stuff from for that video uh digging through my collection but you know how i feel about highlighters and so of course it's gonna be the two highlighters that i talk about you know what i mean there's the moira run the moira one um i'm excited to try that one too but anyway those are my favorites and flops for the month of May. Definitely my flop this month was Sean uh, having an appendicitis and, uh, oh, and uh, it, yeah, it was bad. So that was not a favorite. That was definitely a flop. But anyway, I appreciate y'all for hanging in there with me and everything like that. I really, really do appreciate it. It was very, very kind of you. And uh, thanks for all the well wishes when it came to Sean and his surgery and everything like that. It means a lot to both of us. So really, but Anyway, there we go. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Like I said, probably make sure you give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favorites and maybe not so favorites for the month of May. Love to know down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I do upload some days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, obviously. I do vlogs, grocery hauls, recipes. I do all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start on a plane here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a sec.